Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back. Welcome back to Pure MMT for the 100% beyond the memes, right? We're not going to do bumper sticker economics here. We're going to do real world macroeconomics, okay? So um, we're going to debunk all this nonsense uh, from MMT. And, you know, the first thing you want to really kind of grasp is, you know, the way MMTers love their deficits, as if uh, deficits are going to make us all rich and prosperous. Good night, everyone. Sleep peacefully and dream of trillion-dollar deficits. Well, guess what? Trillion-dollar deficits came. Uh, in the past year, we've, a uh, little bit over a year now, uh, we've deficit spent uh, $6 trillion, which, by the way, includes helicopter money for the people's economy, quote unquote, right? The deficit myth. All right. Let me show you uh, what I've been saying for years now: that deficits only are for the top five percent, the few, and liabilities for the ninety-five percent, the many. Okay, so let's get started here. Um, one of the posts that I recently uh, put up is how the amount of hours required for someone to work average pay uh, to go out and purchase one share of the S&P 500 right now it's actually a lot more now but we'll keep with this old uh, with th th this older um, chart here it's 142 hours 142 hours now think about that you have to go out, work 142 hours in order to acquire one share of the S&P 500. Do you see what deficits have done? Right? They have not made us richer. They have not made us more prosperous. They have made the few richer. Back in the 80s, it used to cost less than 20 hours. Maybe, maybe about 10 hours of work to purchase one share of the S&P 500. You see, if deficits were our savings, quote-unquote, our, then the number of hours required to go purchase one share of the S&P 500 would be equal. That's not the case. So, we have a problem, don't we? It's direct evidence that deficits only benefit the top 5%, not the 95%. Our incomes didn't rise. Our savings didn't rise. And you would think that an mmt -er who is on social media daily crying how uh, the government should give us this, the government should give us that, they're not prosperous uh, for the poor, blah, blah, blah. We need more deficits. We need more deficits. If $28 trillion did not do it, the next $28 trillion will not do it. It's that simple. And yet they are brainwashed to believe that it will. Even when we go back to 2008, the great financial crisis, the lowest that it possibly hit the, uh, was, what, 38? 38 hours to buy one share of the S&P 500? In the depths of hell during the COVID pandemic, worst of the worst, it cost about 103 hours of work to buy one share of the S&P 500. Today it's even higher than this because the market is now at all-time highs again. It costs about 145 hours. So is Stephanie Kelton right, comrade Stephanie Kelton? dream of trillion dollar deficits really is that what you want for your family for you you have to rethink this bumper sticker economics that you think you're going to read a couple bumper stickers you're going to watch a couple youtube videos that are going to create circular logical fallacies use cognitive linguistic science to tell you oh yeah government issues assets no the government does not issue assets the government is a custodian of the unit of measure, the medium unit of exchange. 
okay so we can so we can facilitate transactions within the economy they're the custodians that's it okay now think about this that so we we deficit spent six trillion dollars in over a year do you know how much tax revenue we, we spent another three trillion another three trillion dollars think about that wealth redistribution MMT would tell you oh no 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 taxes they don't fund government that's nonsense that is absolute nonsense okay three trillion dollars came from the private sector and was simultaneously spent back into the private sector okay doesn't matter that uh, some of those dollars are destroyed because they're old or they don't pass the criteria that is necessary that's just stupid <laughs> okay I destroyed a couple coins so what that's destroying the money no the credit are respent back into the economy that's funding government the private sector does everything it funds government it gives value to the currency okay everything is from the private sector Six trillion in deficits, three trillion dollars in taxation, nine trillion in total, and the economy still has not risen. Do you know that nine trillion is fifty percent of real GDP? A little bit less. Okay. You, you cannot create more pizza by creating more slices within that pizza. It doesn't work. So think about these things, okay? This is real life stuff. This is not a bumper sticker. It's not a theory. It's not, oh, you know, you're going to be rich. This is reality. Think about these things when you're talking about MMT.